Hello, Jonathan. I'm so fascinated by your artwork, by the collage. Do you have any favorite artists who inspire you? There are many artists that I love to borrow from. This is Grant Wood, who painted uh, American Gothic. Gothic. Uh -huh. And I've always loved those ladies, so I added some wallpaper. And for a long time, this was a streamer that just festooned in my studio. And they became a happy couple. Cute. There's another Grant Wood. This is the third Grant Wood lady. And she seems to have become happy with this composition. The painting is probably 40 years old. This is from my life as a textile designer. And this was the first composition. And it was completed by adding the lady to the composition. Where do you find materials for your work? Everywhere. And it's the random finding that determines where I go. People love to give me books, and I'm so grateful because I did a series on Jesus Christ because someone gave me a lovely book of Michelangelo. How do you find your art collectors? I just stay here. I stay open. I'm happy to talk about my work to anyone. And just before you came, two lovely people from Hong Kong walked by. I showed them some things. They said, can we see more? I said, certainly. They chose one. They bought it. They walked off. It's very cool. Is it your place? It's studio and exhibition space simultaneously okay. my problem is the process is like solitaire it's like playing cards so the desk is not big enough so i have a large piece of flooring that i put down and everything gets laid on the floor and mix and match problem is if i cut out something very elaborate it's very possible that it'll find its way onto the next composition, something I was not expecting at all. So things seem to find their own home. Can you share what was the most expensive piece you sold? I have sold some for five and six hundred. Last year I sold a clock for four hundred, mm -hmm. but my prices are fairly modest, mm -hmm. you know. Um, what delights me is when someone comes looks at a piece and they explain it to me oh, that's cool. someone said oh this is my mother i said why is that they said well this and this and this and this and my mother always says this and there it is i said i made it but i don't know why i'm making it you come to me you explain to me what i made here the idea is the people that help you understand your work, you, you just give it away. Sounds like you are always in the flow. You kind of feel what work will somebody want. What is the most difficult part of being the artist? When my monkey brain says you can't do that. Okay. How do you overcome that? I tell it to shut up and I just keep going and I make more things. How do you overcome creative blocks? if you have this problem. <laughs> I make more elements so that when I begin actively assembling, I just have many things to choose from. So I make individual elements. So mm -hmm. I'll do a creation and I'll reach and there's something ready for me to, and it's always the trust that what I've been working on is just perfect to go in the new piece. That's a very helpful tip, even for me as, for, as an artist too. How being an artist helps you in other areas of your life. I find the faith to make things and the faith to be willing to open up to new people. And always meeting new people is the most nourishing thing for me. So. Thank you so much.